Throw me that towel, eh? Where's Pa? He left before daylight, did you hear him? I reckon he's still fretting about little Joe. Yeah, I know. He, uh... He was asking we were driving the horses in yesterday why Joe went to Yuma. You didn't tell him, did you? No sense in spilling the beans at this point. Yeah. Even so, I sure hate to see Paul so worried. You don't, you don't reckon anything could have happened to little Joe, do you? No, he can take care of himself. Don't worry. Just think how it's going to be when he rides into town and Pa sees what he's brought him. Yeah, I ain't thought of much else all week. Where did it happen? Two days south of here, sir. Coach has got the whole Apache Nation stirred up. Burned our wagons. Give me a souvenir. Apache between here and Yuma. Uh, Reagan, he knows anything about little Joe? I don't know, but I'm gonna ask him. Hey, you two men. Get him to the company doctor. Be careful. Lieutenant, I... I'd like to ask the scout. My youngest son is in Yuma, and he's two days overdue getting back. Well, they just told me there isn't a white man between here and Yuma that's left alive now. What you figuring on doing? Gonna try to get the armor to send out a patrol to look for little Joe. You're planning on going with him? Yes, I am planning on going with him. In that case, so are we. You two will stay right here and keep an eye on those horses we bought. It's quite enough that one of my sons wouldn't do as he was told. Paul, Adam and me been talking it over, and we think there's some you ought to know. I've raised a pack of stubborn, mule-headed, stump brain. Uh, I told him once, I told him ten times. Wait here at Tyson Wells, I said. Wait here, I said. But Paul. No, no, he's got to run off somewhere. Can't stay put. Does my word mean anything around Paul. here anymore? What? Paul, me and Adam want to tell you something if you'll calm down. I am calm. You're shouting. I'm not shouting. What is it you want to tell me? We want to tell you why Joe went to Yuma. Well, it's about time somebody started telling me something around here. Boy, it was a kind of a secret between Adam and me and Joe and... Now, will you two make sense? We're, we're trying to, Paul. Joe went to Yuma to buy a horse. A horse? Jumping Jehoshaphat. Haven't we bought enough Arizona horses in the last week to keep the Ponderosa overrun with horses for the next ten years? Paul, this wasn't just any horse. It was, a, it was a gift for you. A gift? For your birthday. We, uh, we've been planning it since last year. We even rode every, every horse breeder from here to Kentucky. Yeah, you see, we wanted it to be the greatest horse we could find. We wanted him to, wanted him to say something that we just couldn't say. What was it you couldn't say. Well, Paul, we... I reckon we... we just didn't know how to say we loved you. Well, 
fools make poor fathers. Destroy everything always. Do you know these people? See. A good man. His wife. Two little girls. They had a good place here. We gotta find some water. How? The Apache are between us and Fort Dye. The horses are so thirsty and... Uh, My young friend is thirsty, too. Here, have a drink, a big drink. Now, look, I had my share. Now, go ahead. We'll split it. You first. Thanks. I felt like a drown in all this water. Um, maybe we can ride around the Apache. There's no riding around him. Coaches and his men are everywhere. They will not stop until the army stops them. Oh, we'd get pretty thirsty waiting for that. Get even thirsty if we try to go back. You're pretty sorry you left Colonel Green out. Huh? No. Wherever the big white one is, that's where I belong. Yeah. That's all the water you got. Oh, that's all right. I got my share. It's better for him than me. You really think a lot of that horse, don't you? He is my life, amigo. We understand each other, this horse and me. Better to have a horse like this than to be born rich. Well, rich or poor will only last another day in the sun. See, si. But the horses won't. Amigo. I know where there is some water. How far is it? Very near. Very dangerous. Perhaps too dangerous. The Apaches, huh? No. Worse. Comancheros, bandits. These men do not fear the Apache. They trade with them. They have a camp in those mountains over there. Sound like real nice playmates. How do you happen to know where the camp is? Because I was once one of them. You were a Comanchero? Some call it that. Some say I was a bandido. But whatever you call it, whenever they catch one, they put a rope around his neck, see? I was caught. It was Colonel Green who cut me down, gave me a job. I have not been back to that camp in the hills since. Well, what chance do you think we have with them? Does the kangaroo mouse have a chance with a rattlesnake? Well, well perhaps a little one. <laughs> um, our rattlesnake is a man called Sam Wolf. You know that name? Sure, I've heard the name, Sam Wolf, but I, I thought it was a legend, not a real man. He is a king here. Cruel, cunning, deadly as a desert. Even Cochise fears him. I wish there was some other way. Well, there's one other way. What one is that, amigo? Could ask the Apache for some water. <laughs> Well, we go this way to see the bandidos.
The Indians are still raiding some isolated ranches and settlements. If they decide to raid Tyson Wells, I'll need every soldier I have here. I'm sorry, but my hands are tied. I appreciate your position, Lieutenant. Good luck. And as soon as I can, I'll put my troops at your disposal. Thank you, Lieutenant. You weren't figuring on leaving without us, were you? I thought I told you two to stay with the horses. You hear him tell us that? I don't recall hearing nothing like that. Looks like you're going to have some company whether you want it or not. If all three of us ride out of here today, it's likely that none of us will ever get back. Our place is with you no matter what happens. Paul, you, you can't ride out here without us. Don't you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yes, sir, we understand. But we also understand that little Joe's in trouble. He might even be dead, I, I don't know, but I do know one thing. Whatever's happened to little Joe's happened to all of us. And we're still a family. Yeah. Yeah, we're still a family. Let's go. No, no. Don't act surprised. They've been watching us for half an hour. Pretend we're expected. Yeah, that's a little tough to do when somebody's shooting at you. We're safe for a while. They will not harm us, at least not until they take what they can get from us. Who? Have your rifle. Delante. Look at that white horse, Sam. Yeah, I see it. Sam, I gotta have that horse. Prettiest animal I ever saw in my whole life. I've seen it before. It's Colonel Green's horse. And if I'm not mistaken, that's Emiliano there with it. Emiliano. Put that thing away, boy. Emiliano was a good man. Might be again with a little persuading. Well, if it ain't my old friend Emiliano, como esta, amigo? This is my friend, Senor Joe Cartwright of Nevada. I'm Sam Wolf. This is my camp here. Not much of a camp, but <laughs> it's all we got. Actually, all we wanted was some water for ourselves and our horses. What makes you think you're gonna get any? You stay out of this. So you want water, huh? That's right. Well, I got water. Only it's kind of hard to come by in this country, you know. If we got money, we're willing to pay for it. What do we want with your stinking money? Could kill you and take it. Just that simple. Remind this cop to whom he speaks, amigo. I never have liked him. He's off. And you take it easy. You know what I'd do to anybody who ever touched my little brother? If you want him to stay on touch, tell him to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> well, you sure ain't changed none, have you, Emiliano? I thought Colonel Green would have beaten the backbone right out of you by now. <laughs> Takes a great deal to change a man, senor. I am thirsty. My horses are thirsty. My friend is thirsty. Bring me some water. Well, you ain't gonna... Do just as I tell you. Sam Wolf never let a friend of his go thirsty in the desert. Only there's just one thing, Mr. Cartwright. This here camp's gone out of the way, you know. Mighty expensive bringing in supplies. Business ain't been too good lately. Yeah. How much you want? All you got. 
Well, now, this is mighty nice. Must be several hundred dollars in here. Only it ain't enough. Well, that's all we've got. Not all, friend. You got something there that's better than money. I'll take that there white horse and you can have all the water you can drink. Nobody touches that horse. <laughs> I'm sorry, you ain't got no choice. I got him, Sam, I got him! Get off my horse, kid. No, I seen him first. I said get away. He's my horse and don't you forget it. Oh. Hold that. Hold. Ha. Ha. Hold that. Hold that, boy. Ha. Ha. Hold that. Hold that, boy. the street, but he's asleep. I have observed him. How tough it'll be to get the one outside the door? Well, it would be difficult. But our friends were very careless. <laughs> and I'm kind of glad you're on my side, Emiliano. No, it is I, you unfortunate get amigo. Up, Someone comes. Get back to bed. Does a wolf fear the rabbit so? <laughs> Emiliano, you're the only rabbit that I ever saw that could bite. <laughs> I accept a compliment, amigo. I meant it as one. How's your friend? He will leave. Not for long. Tomorrow we'll have a turkey shoot and he'll be our turkey. We will make excellent targets, amigo. I didn't mean you, Emiliano. I'm giving you a chance to live. You're a good man. I always liked you. I want you to come back and join up with us, Emiliano. I'll split with you, same as before. What of this one? <laughs> I'll give you the first shot. If you're a friend of his, be over with quick. And the white horse? Uh-uh. That one's mine. This horse means much to me, amigo. Much is your life. Perhaps. I'll give you until noon to think it over, Emiliano. Adios. He's a nice fellow. Hmm. Turkey shoot, huh? This is his favorite sport. They let a turkey run across the desert and shoot at him with rifles. Now, does a turkey ever get away? Uh, it has never been known to happen, amigo. I'll give you a run for your money. Me, muchacho. Now you got the first shot. <laughs> I did not say I would take it. Look, he offered you your life. What is that? Life without honor? You know, my father used to read me a, a passage from the Bible. It's something like, it's better to be a living dog than a dead lion. You gotta think about it. Look at me, amigo. Look at me. Outside in the corral is a great horse. Tell me, have you ever seen such a horse? No, I haven't, but... And this horse... This horse speaks to me, sings to me. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Now, do you, do you think I will let a, a pig like this, a beast, like this wolf have this horse? No, I would rather die first. Look at me, amigo. I have always wanted a son my own, all my life. I am too ugly to even have a wife. 
Come here. To think my horse would be a gift from a boy to his father. This moves me, amigo. Fear nothing, amigo. I fear for you like I would my own son. Let's see about getting out of here, then. Hey, compañero. Huh? What do you want, eater of toads? Some of that which you drink, for a favor. Ugly one, who are you to ask a favor of me? Uh, I have money here in my hand. Let me see your money. Your first your bottle. Come on, give me the bottle. <laughs> no, I know. I know, old brother of toads. You want to escape. You want to? Go ahead. Try it. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Get him out of sight. Right. Any trouble? No difficulty. The former owner will not be needing this. Yeah, where are the horses? This way. Pretty good, senor, eh? Yeah, well, I learned from an expert. We gotta find that horse. I'm not gonna leave here without him. I'm glad to hear you say that. Neither am I. Look, we'll split up. We'll meet back here later. All right. Plenty of trouble now, amigo. Creo que le pegué al caballo. Sí, así parece. You take the big white one. Right.
No. No. Get my horse, Cayetano. See, si, Heffy. Take him in the house. Every man rides. How many you count? This and this. Yeah, I count the same. The horses are tired. I think we should fire some shots, have them scatter. Then we ride on. Right. What are you making that? Ah, it's an old trick. They have speed up. It's a way around this mesa. If four of them ride fast, they can be waiting for us when we come out of the canyon. We just can't sit here and wait for Wolf and the others to catch up to us. You got a plan? Yeah, suppose we ride down through the canyon. Go as fast as we can to the other end and wait for them. The big white one, he can make it that fast. My horse, too slow, too tired. All right, you follow me. Get there as quick as you can. What are the others behind you? I guess he'll be along. <laughs> That's what I like about you, amigo. You do not worry about tomorrow until tomorrow gets here. <laughs> Just hope it gets here. Pull him back with a couple of shots. Good general, amigo. They come to surprise you and you surprise them, huh? Eh? Yeah, still three of them out there. That even the odds a little, eh? Thanks. Por nada. His name was Rafael, eh? Always plan to kill him someday anyway. Well, that leaves one more. Must be Cayetano. He was always a good friend to me. I will hate to have to kill him. Sometimes I just can't figure you out, Emiliano. Why? I am a simple man. I have my loves, my hates. Mostly I look out for my own hide. They will be coming from our back soon. Yoni, we're not going to be here. Let's go. No, Joe. Uh, that Cayetano is the best shot of them all. Easy, easy. Rest, amigo. Rest. We'll be riding out soon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, you know, when we get back home, first call from that big white one's gonna be yours. Oh, no, amiga, that, that, that is too much. No, I insist. You cannot do that. This horse belongs to your father. He will not like it. No, he's not gonna mind. That's a promise. You're gonna get the first coat. Your father must be a very rare man, amigo. Yeah, I think so. I think you'll think so, too. When one is young, there is always hope, amigo. When one gets older and tired, he does what he must do. Well, let's get out of here. I'm sorry. You're a good man, amigo. I wish things could have been different. What's this all about? Get on the big white one, amigo, and ride. There's a chance. I'd rather let you have him than give him to Sam Wolf. What's the matter with you? You think I'd ride off and leave you? You have no choice. Sam Wolf did not offer you a job. A job? We killed his brother. You know you haven't got a chance back there. Yes, I do. I will become a bandido again. It is a good life, amigo. You take care of this horse, amigo, or I will come for you myself. The Ponderosa is not that far away. Emiliano... No, Oscar Adam! Or I'll kill you now! It'll make me stand big in the eyes of Sam Wolf. You take your choice, amigo. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Right! Adios, white one. That's the most powerful horse I ever saw. Take at least three horses to run him down. You two got the fastest horses. Get off and give me the reins. Leave the canteens on. Might take me two or three days to run him down. My son. You are your father and your brother. I should have known you are a close family. You saw my son? See, see, he, he ride to the desert. They chase him. If you hurry. What, what are you trying to say? There was no other way. My horse was tired, but alone. And the big white one, there was a chance. You did this for a little Joe? See, see, and the big white one. He is a fine horse, amigo. <laughs> Your son, he tell me of the Ponderosa. The big horse, he will be happy there. Tell you, tell you, son. Yeah. I'll tell him.
to get to little Joe. Paul, you'll never make it. They got us pinned down tight. About half tired of this. Yeah, it's not getting us any closer to little Joe either. Yeah. Listen, Adam. Why don't you cover me and I'll try to Now you're too big a target. behind that rock. All right, I drive him out and you nail him, okay? Right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay.
Howdy, friend. I, uh... I just finished me off a horse thief. Caught him stealing my horses last night. You're a liar. Now, looky, friend. That kind of talk's gonna get you into a lot of trouble. Like I said, he's a horse thief. He's my son. That's enough for now. Joke. Well, I, I try to get through. Never mind that now, son. I, I have to talk. There was a vaquero with me, Emiliano. I know. I, I talked with him. Well, then he's alive, then. No, I... He wanted you and the horse to get through. Emiliano. He was a good friend, Pa. I, he really loved that horse. It was, it was such a beautiful horse, Pa. Ran his heart out for me. I know, son. So we, we, wanted to, we wanted to give you that horse. I tried not to lose him. So we wanted to give him to you as a gift. I have my gift, son. Joe! He's all right, boys. Let's get him home. Thanks. <laughs> 